that's possible. Hello friends, hello fellow vintage lovers. Thank you for checking out my pre-recorded sale today. I have a lot of smalls. It is mainly jewelry with a couple of larger things um, added in just to a little bit more variety. But a lot of this is jewelry. Um, there is some sterling in here, some brooches of course, um, some antique items. I'm just super excited about this sale. I had a lot of fun putting it together today. And I do want to go over the rules just in case you're new to my channel or new to pre-recorded sales in general. Um, the way this sale works is each item here will be given a number. And if you're interested in the item, you just type the item number in the comments. And the first person to put in the item number will win the item. Um, I do invoice via PayPal, so if you're a new buyer to me, you do need to send me your information. I need your PayPal email, uh, your YouTube username, your real name, as well as your mailing address. And you would send that information to calypsoantiques at gmail.com. I think I went over everything. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me via email as well. I hope you guys are as excited as I am because I'm pretty stoked about today's offerings. Okay guys, the first thing I have to show you today is this amazing uh, vintage metal and enamel flower brooch. This one is red, white, and blue, which I absolutely love. It is unmarked. It is about two inches. Um, it is a rose, as you can see. It has a lot of dimension. But the best thing about this brooch, guys, is that it's in perfect condition. I don't see any paint loss on it. Um, it's just absolutely fantastic. And this one is going to be $14. And it's item number one. $14 number one for this amazing uh, metal and enamel rose brooch. I love this. Perfect for 4th of July, but perfect anytime, I think so pretty okay guys item number two is another amazing brooch this is a large brooch it's four inches across um as you can see it's a bow it's in perfect condition i don't see any wear or um tarnishing to it at all it's got this really pretty like woven texture to it it's another unmarked beauty I see it. I see. Oh, is this listener? I'll tell you what got. Oh, it's Napier. Um, sometimes you cannot see until you have all the lights on the bow. You guys that are familiar with my live sales have probably noticed that it's really hard to see sometimes, but this is Napier. Um, and this is going to be $12, number two. $12, number two for this amazing bow. That would be great for crafting. Um, it'd be really pretty to wear on your collar as well. Love. Okay, guys, the next item I have to show you is something that I did show on Saturday, but I felt like it might be easier for you to see all the detail if I if I did it in this pre-recorded sale. Um, this is an antique um, prayer card with um, a crucifix that's actually on a crucifix. That's Mary. Um, with this pendant, probably for a rosary. Um, my favorite part about this is the beautiful design of this. It's got this really pretty gold uh, detailing in the corners. And I love this depiction of Mary. I think it's just beautiful. Um, I bought it like this in the card, so I'm keeping it like this. Um, this is going to be $8, number three. $8, number three. Uh, for those of you that might collect ephemera, this is perfect for that. I think this would be so pretty framed. Um, but, I mean, this pendant is beautiful as well. Just gorgeous. And again, $8, number three. $8, number three for this beautiful Mary prayer card with the pendant. Okay, guys, and this next item is also a prayer card. Um, this one is Jesus with an angel. 
um, like the other. It has this gorgeous um, gold design on it as well. Um, it has a biblical biblical quote there as well. Um, and here is the pendant. It looks very similar to the other one. It's just beautiful. The best part about this, in my opinion, is that it is signed to someone. Um, to dear Ethel, may God bless your dear child. Pray for me. 1926. Sister Mary Lord. Um, that just makes this all the more special to me. Um, I love these. I talk about picking up things like this all the time in my sales, and I think this is one of my favorites. This is going to be $8, number four. $8, number four. Okay, guys, next up is this amazing vintage ring. Um, it's in excellent condition. I don't see any wear on this one as well. It's hard to focus, but here it is. It is a ram. Um, I would think this might be from the 60s or 70s. Um, I think it's probably for an Aries. I'm not 100% sure, but it's got the ram on it. Um, I think this is just a phenomenal ring. Let me try to show it to you a little bit better here. Um, it's got this really pretty woven design all the way around. Um, and it is a size 6. It's just really cool. Um, it's hard for me to pass things up like this. And this is going to be $12, number 5. $12, number 5 for this amazing ram ring. So cool. Okay, guys, next up I have this very old brass coffee grinder. Um, obviously, it's a miniature. It's about one and a half inches tall. It's got a nice patina to it. Um, I did not polish it when I picked this up because I think the patina does add character. It's from Holland, believe it or not. Um, it's really old and it's really cool and the drawer does open here. Um, there we go. And this one is going to be $6, number six. Let me get my card for you. $6, number six. Okay, guys, so next up is a miniature lot. Um, I think these are phenomenal. I decided to sell them together. They're probably for a dollhouse, um, but a lot of people use them for crafting. I think these are absolutely amazing. The first one is this very old phone. Um, it is metal. It has a sticker here, three seventy-five. dollars um, I'm not sure if that was the original, whoops, the original price or not. Um, sorry about that, guys. Didn't mean to make you dizzy. But it's got this string um, for the receiver there, and it's about an inch and a half. Then I have um, this meat grinder, which I think is kind of cool. Um, it does actually move. And this one is about an inch and a quarter. Really, really fun. Um, then there is this little brass tray. At least I think it's brass. This one is about an, about two inches. I had to, to think there. I couldn't remember if it was marked. I don't think it is. Then the last is this cast iron washboard, um, which is my favorite. Um, I think this one is really cool. It's about an inch and a half. And you get this entire lot for $12, number seven. $12, number seven, for these vintage, possibly antique, um, dollhouse or miniatures. I know, guys, it's an owl, but I can't keep every owl I find. Uh, this one is magnificent, though. I do have one similar, so that's why I'm letting him go. He is silver tone and I do believe this is a, it is an actual stone, probably a dyed agate of some sort. Um, he is a pendant or a brooch, and he's about two and a quarter inches long, and he's marked. Now, I'm not sure we're ever going to see it. Looks like it's faded some. Yeah, I can't quite make it out. He is definitely vintage, though, and he's going to be $14, number seven. $14, number seven, for this amazing vintage owl pendant slash brooch. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. He's actually number eight. I accidentally left <laughs> the same sticky note there. He's $14, number eight. 
$14, number eight. Sorry about that little snafu there. Okay, guys, next up are these amazing sterling and amethyst earrings. They are about two inches long. Um, they are for pierced ears. I'll show you the back here in a second. They have been tested. Um, they definitely are sterling and amethyst. I do acid test all of my um, sterling. Here is the back. I don't believe these are marked anywhere. Um, they're marked 925 actually, right there on the back. Um, I think these are definitely vintage. I love them. This design is so, so unique. Um, these are gonna be $29, number nine. $29, number nine. Okay, guys, next up is this little bracelet lot. I think it's perfect for kids, for your grandkids, um, or as a gift for a child. Of course, an adult could wear them as well. These are all stretch bracelets. Um, two of them are colored. There's a pink and a purple one um, with a heart. And then there are three that are silver tone, and they have little stars on them. These are really cute. I think they'd even be cute to wear together. Um, but here are the three silver tone and here are these others really really cute and i am selling this whole set for just two dollars number ten two dollars number ten oh sorry about that there's an error two dollars number ten okay guys next up is this gorgeous victorian style brooch um it is silver tone and these are glass rhinestones they are av coated you have this really pretty pink stone in the middle almost looks like a cat's eye um just absolutely beautiful this one is not marked it definitely reminds me of 1928 but i don't see their scroll work here um it is two and a half inches across just a stunning brooch um and this one is going to be 16 dollars number 11 16 dollars number 11. it is so pretty Okay, guys, these are really hard to show in a live sale, so I'm really happy to be showing them today. Um, these are very old. They could possibly be antique. They are sterling, and they are uh, pearl. They're wrapped. The sterling itself is wrapped around this pearl here in the middle. It is a pretty big pearl. Um, as you can see, there is some opalescent shine to it. These are post back. They're about two inches long. To turn them around here they have been acid tested uh, they are not marked um, here on the back there's a little bit um, just of a natural flaw but I'm sure they probably came that way uh, from the front they're beautiful um, these would be great for anyone who loves the ocean who loves shells um, to me they're kind of almost Victorian looking as well um, they're just absolutely stunning these are $28 number 12 $28, number 12. Okay, guys, next up I have this gorgeous, um, very old Native American ring. I think it's probably Navajo. It has coral and malachite in it. It's got this really pretty leaf pattern. Um, if there was a marking on it, it is worn off. Um, it's sitting at about a seven, maybe a seven and a quarter. Um, really, really pretty ring. Let me try to show you a little bit better here. I apologize. There we go. Let me show you the bottom here. Um, like I said, this probably was marked at some point in time, but it rubbed off. Um, it's definitely got a, a good patina to it. I'm happy to polish it if you prefer it polished. Um, I just love these old rings. As you can see here, it was worn quite a bit. Somebody really loved this ring, as they should. And this one is gonna be $25, number 13. $25, number 13 for this native ring. Just beautiful. Okay guys, I did show this cute frog on Saturday, but I felt like you couldn't see him very well. Um, he is a hand-blown glass frog. He's looking up at you like, oh, I love you so much. Um, with those big bulging eyes. The eyes are painted on. Here is the bottom. So he's about two inches long. 
Oh, I think he's just precious. I don't see any flaws on him whatsoever. Perfect for a frog lover. Anyone looking for their, their Prince Charming? Um, he is going to be $8, number 14. $8, number 14. I just love how he's looking up. Okay, guys. Next up, I have this amazing Native American ring. Um, it is a size 6. And it is very, very pretty. It's in excellent condition. Um, I know I keep saying this, but it has been acid tested. It is marked um, on the inside by the artist. There's an S there. Um, to be honest with you, I haven't looked up that artist yet, so I'm not quite sure um, about their history. Uh, I just got this one in, and I wanted to show it. If only it would focus. Please ignore my nails. <laughs> Let me try to get this to sit down here. Maybe I can get it to show a little bit better. There we go. There is the marking better. And this one's going to be $25, and it's number 15. $25, number 15. And again, it's a size 6. Really, really cool ring. It's simple, yet the detail is so nice. Okay, guys, and number 16 is this amazing amber brooch. Um, as you can see, it's a music note. It is sterling silver. There's a strong patina to it, so it probably is not um, coming through as sterling. Well, yeah, I guess it is. Um, as you can see, there, there are some little speckles in there. I wonder what's in there. Maybe some bugs. I'm not sure. Um, this one is definitely vintage. You can tell by the design. This one is $25, number 16. $25, number 16. It's just phenomenal. Okay, guys, I'm trying to show you the glow. I almost forgot. It does glow. It's going to be really hard for me to do. Hang on just a second. Um, let's see here. Very hard to do this one-handed. There you go. I think you can probably see it there. As you can see, my camera doesn't know what to focus on. Um, but like all amber, it does have that natural glow to it. Just absolutely stunning. Okay, on to the next item. Are y'all ready for a cutie? I've got this adorable dog brooch. Um, I guess he's some sort of terrier. He's got his little beard. Uh, he's about an inch and a half. Um, I just think he's precious. He's even got a little pearl in his mouth, faux pearl. Here is the back. He's unmarked. He's just so cute. Definitely vintage. And he's going to be $10. He is $10, number 17. $10, number 17. That face is everything. Okay, guys, number 18 is so cute for any of you dog lovers out there. Um, these are vintage. Um, they are made in Japan. One is a Basset, and the other, I think she's a Lhasa Apsa. Um, as you can see, a little bit of the cold paint did wear off there, um, where she's saying, I just play for fun. But look at her with her little dress and her pearls. She's so, so cute. The only information on the back is uh, this numbering here. They do have gold trim around the edges. They're both in excellent condition. Here is the dog. I guess he's the boyfriend. I'm not sure. Looks like he's kind of got a tie on. He's saying, what's Trump? Um, 6197 is his number. Um, did I say they're three inches in diameter? I think I did. These are perfect little catch-alls for your jewelry. Cute to hang on the gallery wall. Um, I just love them so much. They're going to be $12, number 18, $12, number 18. Okay, guys, next up I have another sterling brooch. This one is an eagle. Um, he's holding a crest here. I think he's absolutely magnificent. He's about three inches long. There's a lot of gorgeous detail on him. He, it, It's just beautiful. Um, it is marked back here, bow sterling. It's kind of hard to see. But there's his marking there. Um, I'm just going to kind of focus on the detail of him just for a minute there. And if you're patriotic or you're into history, you might like this. Or if you have a spouse, that is. Um, he is going to be $18, number 19. 
$18, number 19, for the Sterling Eagle Birch. Okay, guys, next up I have this beautiful figurine. Um, she is porcelain. She's about five inches tall. Her face is so pretty, those eyelashes for days. And she's hearing, carrying a huge bouquet of roses. She's got her little bow. There is some sugaring um, on her, mainly here at the bottom of the skirt and there um, along the flower basket. She is marked here on the bottom. Um, she is Sealy Japan. She's just so pretty. Um, I think she is mid-century. I'm sure she is. She's in excellent condition. I don't see any petal damage, which is kind of crazy. Um, and she's going to be $12, number 20, $12, number 20. Okay, guys, next up, I have another sterling ring. This one has a turquoise inlay. Um, it is native. To me, it looks like waves as well. It's in excellent condition. It has been tested, and it is actually marked 925. I'll show you here in a minute. Not sure if it's a vintage piece. I, I want to say that it is, but I, I don't know. Um, let me take it off of this mandrel so you can maybe see it a little bit better. I know it's hard to focus. It's focusing on everything but what I want it to. Um, the 925 mark is in there. It's a really, really pretty ring. And this one is going to be $26, number 21. $26, number 21. There we go. Maybe you can see it better that way. Okay, guys. The next item is the sterling silver brooch. I have quite a few of these today. Um, this one is a school of fish. It's kind of like an abstract design. This is a studio piece or an um, artisan piece. It is Mark Sterling back here, and it also has the name of the artist etched in there. Um, this is a really, really pretty brooch. Um, perfect for any of you that like fish. Perfect for a gift for someone who has fish, maybe. This one's going to be $26, number 22. $26, number 22. It's about an inch and three quarters across, just so you know. Try to get a little bit closer here. Not sure what kind of fish they are, but I think this design is just absolutely beautiful. Sunshine's pitter pattering around. Oh no, that's Dexter. He says hi to everyone. Okay, guys, so next up I have a pair of possibly one of the prettiest clip on sets I have uh, come across. These are just gorgeous, they are crystal. Um, as you can see it here, they're all faceted and pronged. They have this gorgeous effect to them. They're just absolutely beautiful. I do not know the maker. They're not marked anywhere. They are in excellent condition. They're so blingy. They're so hard to show. Um, there is a large, um, is that a marquee cut? Rhinestone there in the middle. Um, hopefully it's showing up well. This set is phenomenal. It's going to be $16, number 23. Sorry guys, I'm trying to show you these better. $16, number 23. Stunning. Okay guys, so this is another one that I have shown before, but I felt like it, it doesn't show well um, on my webcam. Um, this is a Swarovski seahorse um, statue. Um, he is like on a wave here, which is frosted glass, and then you have the crystal um, for his body. He does have little jeweled eyes there. He's beautiful. Um, he's about three and a half inches tall. As you can see, all the crystal is faceted, so he definitely um, has some bling when you have him out. He's just beautiful. Um, he is going to be $24, number 24, $24, number 24, uh, which is a really good deal for Swarovski, but I got a good deal on him, so I'm happy to pass it on to you guys. $24, number 24. Okay, guys, I have another blingy brooch for you. This one is Weiss. Um, this is a dome rhinestone brooch. Um, it, it is glass. It's beautiful. All the stones are faceted. 
it is marked twice here. I'm not sure if it's going to show. There we go. I have it upside down. <laughs> there is the Weiss marking. Um, beautiful, beautiful brooch. And it's going to be $18, number 25. $18, number 25. Okay, guys, next up I have this beautiful sterling silver brooch. Um, I think this would be really pretty if you wanted to wear it as a pendant. Um, they do make adapters, or you can just, um, you know, put your necklace um, hooked under there. Um, this is actually a Danish piece. It does say sterling in Denmark. I have tested it. Um, this is definitely a vintage piece. I love the filigree work. Um, I suppose this is probably a flower. Um, I can't remember if I said, but it's about one and three quarter inches. It's just beautiful. And this one is going to be $18, number 26, $18, number 26. Okay, guys, next up I have another beautiful brooch. This one does have some age to it. Um, I thought it was still beautiful enough to go ahead and sell as is. I honestly have not tried to clean. There's one little leaf there that appears to be, you know, a little bit tarnished. Um, here is the back of it. Um, I, I still think it's beautiful, regardless. I love the blue. Um, these are glass rhinestones in here. Just an older piece. Could use some TLC if you're interested. But because of that, I'm only selling it for $10. It's $10, number 27. $10, number 27. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> it's number 28. Ten dollars, number twenty-eight, for this beautiful um, old flower brooch. <laughs> Brittany's going to be stuck in my head all day now. Okay, guys. Next up, I have these really cute um, Betsy Johnson dangle earrings. They are new on card. Um, they're peacock, peacocks, flamingos. Oh my gosh, words are hard. So, guys, I woke up to a broken coffee pot this morning, so I have been struggling all day. Um, as you can see, they're in excellent condition. I don't see any damage. They're um, enamel. They're post-back earrings. Here is the back. These are going to be $8, number 29. $8, number 29. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. These owls are super, super cute. Um, they are they're post earrings, and they're about an inch and a half. So they're more of a dainty earring as opposed to uh, the flamingos I just showed. Um, like the others, they are new on card. They're so cute. Um, they're, did I say? I did. They're about half an inch. Try to get them to focus a little bit more. Those owl faces are just so cute. These are going to be $8, number 30, $8, number 30 for these adorable owl earrings. Okay, guys, I've got another set of Betsy Johnson um, post earrings. These are so cute. These are elephants. Um, look at the ears. They have AV rhinestones in them. Gorgeous um, blue enameling. These are so cute. I'm trying to focus in so you can see all the bling. And they are going to be $8, number 31. $8, number 31 for these adorable earrings. Okay, you guys know how much I love my tins. Um, sorry for the, the dog drinking, drinking some water. I think it's sunshine. Um, so this is about seven inches long and about three and a half inches tall. Um, it's just this gorgeous tin. I love it because it has these peacock feathers on it. Um, you know, it does so show its age. I'm not quite sure how old it is, but it is absolutely beautiful. I think this would be great um, to store you know, jewelry in. Um, you can always line these with like velvet or felt um, to do so. That is something I have been working on. I've been going through my jewelry lately. Um, here is the bottom. It is a little crusty down there on the bottom, but the tin itself is just beautiful. And this is going to be $7, number 32. $7, number 32. Okay, guys, so next up I have this gorgeous sterling silver um, cubic zirconia ring. It's about a six and a quarter. Um, it's got a wide band and then it has this gorgeous stone there in the center. 
I think it'd be pretty as a pinky ring um, if you wear a regular, a regular, a larger size. Um, but I just thought it was beautiful. I love the design of this. It's very modernist. Um, it has, of course, been tested um, as sterling. Let me try to focus on it a little bit better there. This one I'm offering a deal on. It is Cyber Monday. Um, this is only going to be $20, number 33. $20, number 33. It's just stunning. Okay, guys, next up I have an absolutely stunning ring. Um, this one is amethyst, peridot, and marcasite. Um, it's got this beautiful cut. Come on, focus for me. Amethyst in the middle. Let me try to put it down. See if that helps. It does. Um, it's just stunning. So it's got the amethyst in the center and then um, two small peridot gems there. All of the marcasites are there. This is about a size 9, so this is a larger ring. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. It's just beautiful. Um, um, it has been tested. And this is going to be $34, number 34. $34, number 34 for this breathtaking ring. Trying to get it to stay. stay for me. <laughs> $34. Number 34. I'm filming with my phone, so my apologies. Okay, guys, next up I have this gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. Um, so I do believe these are soda light. They could be dyed agate. Um, I think they are soda light, though. They have these little pearls, and then they have these beautiful silver tone beads. This is a 12 inch drop, so it's a 24 inch necklace. It's really pretty in person. I, I truly hope that it's coming out. Let me show you the clasp here. I didn't test this one for sterling, so it could be, I'm not sure. But it's so pretty. Um, if you like blue, if you like pearls, I just think this is stunning. This is gonna be $10, number 35. $10, number 35. Okay, guys, and next up is this gorgeous um, hand-knotted glass necklace. Um, this is very mid-century. It's a 10-inch drop, so it's a 20-inch necklace. It does have a barrel clasp here, as well as um, a little bit of a safety chain. It's really, really well made. Um, it's just gorgeous. I love the colors. I think this would be pretty with layering, but it's also just beautiful on its own. I'm trying to kind of focus on the glass beads there because they're so pretty. This one is going to be $12, number 36. $12, number 36. Okay, guys, next up I have this gorgeous necklace. Um, this is acrylic. I think this is probably from the 70s. So it's about a 14 and a half inch necklace. I have it doubled up here um, just so I can show you better. It's really, really pretty. It's in excellent condition. Here is the back. The chain itself is in excellent condition as well. Um, here is the clasp. It's just absolutely beautiful. This one is going to be $10, number 37. $10, number 37. I love it. Okay, guys. This one is super cute. So this is costume. It is just this adorable um, enamel and rhinestone bluebird um, on a silver tone chain in excellent condition. There's no markings on this anywhere. It's about a nine inch uh, drop, so it's about an 18 inch necklace. It's just really cute. I think this would be a perfect gift for someone, maybe even a stocking stuffer, especially if you love chunky little bluebirds like that. And he's gonna be $6, number 38. $6, number 38. Let me try to show him a little bit better. There we go, he's super, super cute. $6 number 38. Okay guys, next up I have another sterling ring. This one has opal. It's so pretty. It does have little um, CZ rhinestones in it as well. Hopefully you can see them. 
Um, there's a really nice flash on the opal. I think this is just gorgeous. I do believe it's modern. Um, here is the back of it. Let me take it off of this so I can show you a little bit better. Okay, guys, I think this may have helped a little bit. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. I love everything about this. I love this design. I like how it's kind of woven around. Um, here is the back again. Here it is here. I do believe it's marked, but I cannot remember where. It might be right in there. It's a beautiful, beautiful ring. And this one is going to be $28, number 39. $28, number 39 focus on the opal. Okay guys, this may be my favorite ring for today. I did just pick this one up. Um, it is amethyst as you can see and this is a pretty big chunk of amethyst. It also has these beautiful marcasites on it. They are all there. It is sterling. It's a size 8. Um, I just saw the marking in here but now of course I don't see it. Um, but it's in there. There we go. And it has been tested. This ring is so pretty. I hope the bling is showing up. Let me try to get it down here on its own. There we go. It's so pretty, guys. It's definitely a statement ring. And this one is going to be $34, number 40. Let me make a little card here. $34, number 40. It's so pretty. I feel like it, maybe it needs to be in the light a little bit more. There we go. So much bling. Okay, guys, number 41 is this amazing amber necklace. Right now it's on a 9-inch drop chain, which is 18 inches. The pendant itself is about 3 inches. Um, this is a very big chunk of amber. It does have some patina, as you can see here. I do believe this is an older piece. Um, it is marked here on the bottom. It is sterling. The chain is sterling as well. Um, it's just a huge piece of amber. Let me grab my flashlight so I can show you the glow on it because it does glow. be hard to see but there is glow in there this one does have a lot of um, flex in it it is a beautiful gorgeous amber necklace uh, because of the size of the amber and the actual weight of the pendant itself this is going to be a pricier piece this one is going to be uh, number 41 and it's $60 it's just gorgeous. Um, if you want me to polish this up, I definitely can. Um, I kind of like it with the patina, but I know that some people prefer it shiny. So if you do purchase it, let me know. Um, try to get this on here again, just to kind of show you. Yeah, you can see that green glow, I'm pretty sure. Um, again, $60, number 41. Okay guys, next up is this amazing tray. Um, probably, guys, you'll have to excuse the glare from my ring light. Um, it's kind of hard to show this one. This is an amazing tray. Um, it is mid-century, but it obviously has a depiction of uh, probably a Victorian lady. Um, there is foil in this picture, which makes it very iridescent. It's 18 inches long and 10 inches tall, um, including these amazing handles. There is a little bit of wear to this, which is normal with these pieces. This back here, um, the red part is felt, so there's a little bit of it that has aged. Um, but the picture itself is in amazing condition. Um, this would be great, of course, as a vanity tray, which is what it is, but you could use it um, to hold your jewelry. Um, you could hang it on the wall. That's probably what I would want to do. Um, it does have a wood back here. As you can see and this one is going to be $28 number 42 $28 number 42 it's truly awesome it's a great piece okay guys the next one is an amazing tray as well 
Um, this is one I debated keeping for myself. This is very old. Um, it is marked Made in Occupied Japan on the back. Um, so it's got this really pretty, pretty Asian motif. Um, you've got a pagoda, you have a bridge, you have trees, but of course my favorite part is these two beautiful birds here. Um, I love everything about this piece. Um, it's just incredible. Now, being as old as it is, um, there is some wear and damage to it. These kind of things don't bother me because it, to me it shows their age and character. Um, but if you're looking for something, you know, perfect, this is not the item for you. Here is the back, um, and here is where it is marked made in Occupied Japan. It's alcohol proof. Woohoo! Have any of you started drinking eggnog? Rick and I have been doing eggnog and Bailey's, and it's really, really good. Okay, so this tray is going to be number 43, and it's $18. $18, number 43. It's just gorgeous. I forgot to give you the dimensions. It is 16 inches long and 11 inches tall. Okay guys, so most of you know that I love ephemera. I love jewelry. I mean, what don't I love that's old? <laughs> um, so this is a real photo postcard. I believe this is German. Um, as you can see, it's got this young couple here. Looks like he has a unibrow. He was cracking me up earlier. Um, this one is written on, but, oh no, this one is not written on. I do apologize. Um, this one may be American. I got confused with the next one. Um, but I just think these are great. Of course, you can frame them, instant ancestors, um, gallery wall. Just have them displayed throughout your house. I, I definitely do. I'm, I need to give you guys a tour sometime. Um, all of these are going to be $8, but this one is number 44. $8, number 44 for this happy couple. <laughs> okay guys, and the next real photo postcard, this is the, um, I think it's German. I don't know if any of you know German, but it's dated 1925, so it's almost antique. Um, and it is this couple. They're under some leaves. Look at her gingham dress and look at her shoes. Um, I like this one a lot as well. This one is $8, number 45, $8, number 45. Okay, guys, please excuse my crumpled up um, post-it notes. My cat, Ash, got a hold of them, so some of them were crinkly. But anyway, um, I, I like to reuse as much as I can. So um, anyway, this couple is by a stream. They are definitely young, it looks like to me. At least she looks pretty young. Um, it's got a really pretty background. She's got some really nice um, details on her skirt there. Um, this one is really cool. This one is only addressed to Dora and Lola. Um, it, it was never actually mailed. It's probably just given to Dora and Lola. But this one is also $8, and it's number 46. $8, number 46. Okay, like I said, love ephemera. You know I love the kitsch. Um, I just got this one. This is Sunny Meadow Stories. It's from 1958. Um, this one does have a little bit of wear to it. Um, it looks like some child kind of scribbled on it there. Um, all the pages are here, which, oh my God, look at those squirrels. Look at that sign. Um, I'm not going to go over every page, um, but yeah, the pictures are just amazing. Look at that crow. So like I said, all, all of the pages are here, but it is a little bit loose, as you can see back here. We'll end on the owl. And this one is going to be $7, number 47, $7, number 47, for Sunny Meadow Stories. Okay, guys, next up I have this beautiful bird. Um, it's going to be $18, number 48, but it is about 8 inches tall and about 6 inches wide. Um, I'm not quite sure what kind of bird it is. But it's really, really well done. The glaze is beautiful. The bird is beautiful. Um, here is the bottom. Not sure who the maker is. Um, I'm not going to guess. But it's definitely really well made. Could be Royal Copley. I don't know. I'm not going to say that it is. Um, I paid up for this beauty because of the shape it's in. And because of how beautiful and unique it is. It's just, it's in excellent condition. 
and it's so pretty. Um, again, it's $18, number 48. And guys, we are going to end the sale. Um, that's my last item for today. I do want to let you know that Belinda, Bell Dream Spinach, and I are thinking about doing a pop-up sale sometime tomorrow. Um, either in the late morning or early afternoon, we're not quite sure yet. Um, but be on the lookout for that. I will create the event as soon as we um, can decide on the time. Hope to see you guys then. Um, I will be invoicing tomorrow after that sale because I'm having a procedure on Wednesday, so I might be out of commission for a few days. Um, if so, then the next sale you'll see me at is the Saturday Shop a Hall sale. Hopefully I got everything in there. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm praying for many of you. Um, I just care about you guys so much, and I can't thank you enough for your continued support. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.